Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my Week 9 previews and analysis. This video is for the game between the San Diego Chargers and the Washington Redskins. This game will be played in Washington. And, you know, coming into this one here, these two teams headed in, in sort of two different directions. You know, Washington in a must-win at 2-5. and five. San Diego coming off their bye with a record of 4-3. and three. And remember, San Diego's defense was... was uh, talked about a lot as being what would maybe hold them back this year as a team with their offense putting up such prolific numbers. But remember this, you know, San Diego's defense let up a total of 15 points combined in their last two games before the bye, nine to Indy at home and six on the road to Jacksonville. And I know you say, well, you know, they let up six to Jacksonville, so what? But hey, Letting up nine points to Indy only looks pretty good now. And, um, you know, I think if that defense is able to stay opportunistic, able to, uh, John Pagano is able to dial up some schemes, you may see this team turn the corner because certainly Phillip Rivers having a little bit um, of a career rebirth um, this year under first year head coach Mike McCoy. You look at Rivers as being in that mix right under obviously like a Peyton Manning uh, for the MVP award. That's how good he's playing. I'm interested to see if they play Robert Griffin uh, the same way Griffin got played last week uh, by the Broncos. They really uh, went to a 3-4 alignment more, kept RG3 in the pocket for first and foremost, and made him beat them from the pocket. Gave up some yards to Alfred Morris as a result. Remember, San Diego does still give up 4.8 yards a carry on the ground. On the flip side, though, Washington's defense um, allows over 270 yards passing through the air, and their opponent's quarterback rating is over 100. So you have the running game of, of Washington versus the passing game of San Diego. It'll be interesting to see the defensive schemes that Jim Hazlitt and John Pagano you know, draw up here to try to take away the other team's strength. Um, you know, As far as you know, RG3 goes, can he win a game from the pocket? Or can Shanahan, the Shanahans develop a game plan to get him outside the pocket more? Um, do they integrate more planned runs as RG3's knee begins to feel better? You know, These are all things we'll see. But what I've liked from the Redskins defense, yes, they're still giving up an ungodly amount of yards. Um, you know, the, while they're not going to be able to get better players overnight, I think what they've been showing a little bit in the last couple weeks is the ability to at least force turnovers, three interceptions of Peyton Manning last week, the ability to get after the quarterback a little bit, which I think is going to help them in this game, especially at home. Uh, I expect this game to take on a lot of the similarities that the game versus Chicago did, a team coming in with a better record, okay, but Washington with their backs against the wall needing a win. And I like you know Alfred Morris to have a good game in this one, RG3 to not make the big mistake, and for this game to be, you know, a little bit lower scoring than you think because I think the Redskins can seriously run the ball on the Chargers. I think the Chargers, you know, are right in this one um, till the end. But I like Washington at home needing the win, okay, to keep their season alive. I like Washington plus one at home to beat San Diego. Guys, let me know what you think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at SNewsAnalysis. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I preview and recap every game, every week, and I'm always talking the news of the day in the NFL. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks for listening. Have a great night.